starting a coding project is easy but you see finishing it that's where the problem lies it's not that you are lazy it's because somewhere between excitement and execution you fall off again and again deep down you know it's a problem but you don't know how to fix it and in this video i'll expose some causes of this half project syndrome and maybe if you knew the causes of this problem you'll be able to tackle it head on and moving forward you stop ghosting your project i'm a front-end developer and technical writer please stick around to the end of this video the first thing that makes you not finish your coding project is that you pick projects that are out of your scope of knowledge projects that are too big i know when i started learning javascript at the very early stages and i decided to build a project after i had done counter to do list and color game i don't know yeah i think that was within the range the game i picked was hangman game up until today i did not finish that project i couldn't i was frustrated i was depressed i was discouraged and at some point i even felt like i was not cut out for javascript why because i picked a project that what i knew at that moment and even what i could learn even if i stretched myself could not still get to the level that it needed so if you are building projects that are too out of your scope you want to build the next dreamer you want to build the next netflix with your basic knowledge i'm not saying it's bad it's good that you dream big but don't set it as a standard for projects that you're building and when you start building them aim for the minimal viable product mvp the next thing that could be causing you not to finish your coding project is that you don't define done you know done to many people mean different things done to me might be that my layout is good done to you might be that you need complex animations done to you the other person might be that is very secure the security is maximum don't to another person is that a secure authentication if you don't have a defined done for your project you are going to keep adding features because features don't finish you see that basic to-do list that you built if you don't have a clear defined done a lot of things you can add there's animation there's ai prompt there's login there is this one so if you don't have a defined done you still keep those projects as leftover projects every time in your folder and that thing that might be keeping you stuck is that you overthink features perfectionism you don't have to overthink so many things when you are building projects just aim for the best you can do with what you have with what you know with the knowledge or resources that you have available don't overthink it you must not build the next ai robot whatever that is existing you must not be the person that will build the most secure back end that is existing so with what you have what you know don't overthink the future that basic project that you have you can add a few things make it more comprehensive but don't overthink it perfectionism is bad Another thing that might be keeping you stuck in your project that you never get to finish them is that you always try every tech stack that comes out. Astro is out, you try Astro. This one is out, you try it. This framework is out, you try it. Tailwind is out, you try it. You keep trying all these frameworks that you never ever get the time to finish one thing so you are jumping from framework to framework from language to language the best thing i'll tell you is to learn the core of whatever language that's programming language that you're learning and pick one or two frameworks or libraries and work with them consistently develop yourself so much in these libraries that whatever you start in it you can always finish it another reason you're not able to finish your project is that you feel the need to impress people you feel that whatever you release should be the next banger software online you feel the need that people need to see this and shout wow who built this so let that go aside you don't have to build these things for people these things that you're building these projects are building are for your personal growth and i wouldn't lie to you it's very nice when people appreciate what you've done but it shouldn't keep you back that you don't eventually finish what you're doing and share it for those people to see it if you keep those unfinished projects in your folder how would those people get to see it <laughs> another thing i want to also talk about is that you build projects that you don't care about and that's why you find it difficult finishing your projects imagine that i don't like football and i'm building a football game how 
how would I be able to finish it? I would eventually get bored and move to something else. But imagine I was building a cooking game. I'll be very excited, obviously, because I'm doing something that I have interest in. So building a project that you don't care about, honestly, is going to keep you stuck and you might eventually not finish it. And I also don't know why people do this thing that someone posts a project online or maybe something they're working on or maybe some kind of very interesting project instead of you to find something also very creative and do for yourself you want to build what this person has already done what they possibly have interesting that you don't even have interest in so you want to copy this person and do what they are doing for me it's a no no if you have interest in something go ahead and build in that space but if you don't have interest in something why build the projects on it it's different when you're hired in a company you know that now you don't have the flexibility to do what you want you have to do what the company wants but when you are building personal projects to improve yourself why building what you don't want <laughs> So today, whatever project you're planning or building, ensure that you have maximum interest in it. Ensure that it fascinates you. Yeah, you. The next and final thing I also want to chip in is that you treat every single project you build as a portfolio project. Not every project that you build should be treated as a portfolio project. Some projects are there for practice, for growth. So don't treat it like something that you must show. You, you might eventually show it. There's nothing wrong with showing imperfect projects you can refine as you go obviously but don't treat everything like a portfolio project some projects as stupid as they look teach you a lot more than the polished perfect projects that you build now you know why you dump your coding projects it's not about motivation yes it's not about motivation it's about structure scope and follow through but the real question is what are you going to do differently with this information that you have you now see that it's not about finding new ideas yes find one if all the ones that you have or that you've been working on you're not interested in them but most importantly go and finish what you started if you're interested in building momentum not just excitement you may want to check out this video and before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more developer content i love you bye